Hey everybody, this is D Hunter bringing another action figure review. Today, we're going to look at the NECA ET 40th Anniversary Ultimate Telepathic ET. This is ET in the blue robe. Normally, I would refer to this ET as Drunk ET, but of course, he's not going to come with a can of beer that he was drinking that scene for obvious reasons. NECA's making a bunch of ET figures for the 40th Anniversary. I think there's a total of five of them. This will be the fourth one that I have. So let's take a look at the packaging. As you can see at the top, ET, 40th Anniversary, Ultimate Telepathic ET. Here he is holding the speed spell. He's got the blue robe on one side. ET, sent to the TV, just like in the movie. Other side, the infamous bicycle scene. On the back, you can see ET with his accessories, different hands and display options. This is one of NECA's ultimate figures. Window packaging. You can hear the Velcro as I open it up. On the inside flap, here's ET. And then here is the figure. So, with no further ado, let's open him up. All right. Now they got this figure out of the package. Here he is with all his accessories laid out. He comes with four alternate hands, totaling six interchangeable hands, a telephone, his speak and spell, and a TV remote. Now, I refer to this E.T. as Drunken E.T., but he's dubbed as Bathrobe E.T. for obvious reasons. He doesn't even come with a can of beer, and I totally get it. I'll have to provide my own. So this guy is part of NECA's E.T. 40th Anniversary Collection. He's the fourth E.T. figure that I've seen, and there's still a fifth one coming. I believe they're straight-up re-releases from NECA's previous E.T. offerings. So let's take a look at him. Start with the face here, it looks weird, kind of hideous, but kind of cute at the same time. Look at his eyes, blue eyes, wrinkly, leathery skin all over him. Nose kind of resembles a chimpanzee. Head is the weirdest shape you could possibly imagine. His robe looks pretty nice, blue flannel. Articulation is really poor on this guy. His elbows barely move at all. He's got the robe, kind of made of soft material, a little bit bendable, wrinkly skin all over this guy, kind of got a pop belly, some stumpy old legs. Kind of cool. Definitely not really necessary unless you're getting all the ET figures. And just a closer look at his face and head sculpt. And here's the figure broken down as far as he can go, with all of his removal parts detached. Now let's take a look at his accessories, and let's start off with his hands. This ET has a total of six hands, four right hands, two left hands. Here he is with his first pair of hands. These are some open hands, most normal, relaxed looking hands. Then his next pair of hands, kind of like some scooping hands. Look like they could possibly hold something large, probably for his flower plant that this figure doesn't even come with. And he's got another alternate right hand. This one is a large gripping hand. And he has still one more right hand. This one's going to be the hand with a lit up index finger. Now let's look at his speak and spell. As you can see, it's got all the little sort of buttons on it. Speak and spell. Here's E.T. holding and using the speak and spell. Now we have this phone. Old school looking phone, you can see all the numbers down there. The actual receiver can come up. You've got the cord there. I could definitely put this to a lot of use in my action figure world. Here's T holding the phone. He thinks he's about to talk to somebody. And now for the remote control. It's an old school remote. See how few and large the buttons are. Here's E.T. holding that remote. One thing he should have come with, and I get for obvious reasons why he didn't, is a can of beer. I believe this can of beer is from some wrestling figures. Very generic looking can. Does have a little tab at the top. Now E.T. got some beer out of the fridge. He's kind of getting wasted while playing with the speak and spell and watching TV. And then you got E.T. holding this can of beer. Now they've taken a pretty good look at both the figure and his accessories. Now let's check out his height from bottom to the top of his head, staying about 4.25 inches tall, which can translate to just under 11 centimeters. 
Now he's a seven inch scale figure, but E.T. was quite shorter than an average person in the film. Now for his articulation, and some parts are quite limited. His head can rotate from side to side, up and down, can rotate, ball joint, good range of motion there. Shoulders, goes out a good 90 degrees, ball joint, up, down, around, not bad. Elbow, both quite limited, extends straight out this far, goes in about that much with rotation. Other side is even worse, goes out that far, in that much, that is about it. His wrist, you can rotate, and it's gonna be hinged. Robe, soft, can move out of the way. His legs, kinda got ball joints, I don't know, the hip area, whatever you wanna call it, rotate. Tilt rock a little bit. Pretty limited on this little guy. Here's E.T. sitting on the couch, having a beer and watching the TV. Now let's talk about next to some other action figures. Starting off with some other NECA E.T. figures. Here he is next to the NECA Ultimate E.T. Then with the NECA Ultimate Deluxe E.T. This one has a light up chest. And here with the Ultimate Dress Up E.T. Here is NECA's entire E.T. 40th Anniversary Collection. I believe the only addition this year is the Elliott bicycle set. And that's probably the one I was looking forward to the most for a lot of reasons. It's cool. First time Elliott's got an action figure form. Take E.T. out of the basket, and he's a great addition to your overall action figure world building. He'll be a nice background character in my city. A.T. stands for extraterrestrial, which means he's an alien. He's not from this planet. Here he is, next to a bunch of other NECA alien figures. We've got the Predator, the Xenomorph, the Sewer Mutation Alien from Ninja Turtles, and then Superman from Krypton. Now let's check him out, next to some action figures from different various companies, to see how he fits in, both scale and style-wise, in case you want to know what signs you can mix him with. Since he's a NECA figure, they're typically the 7-inch scale, even though E.T. is quite a bit shorter. I'm going to start off my comparisons with some of the larger action figure lines I collect, and work way smaller, but first, Let's check him out with some of his NECA brothers. In front of you are five different action figure lines, all from NECA toys, all 7 inch scale. Then, here he is with even more NECA figures. And now, next to some Jack specific wrestling figures, here's E.T. next to a fresh baked croissant. And here he is next to some DST or Diamond Select toys. Then, with some McFarlane toys. And here he is standing with some DC Direct and DC Collectibles figures. Then, with some Mattel wrestling figures, and now with some Chazwares AEW wrestlers. And here he is, next to some Mezco 112 collective figures. Then, next to some Mattel DC Universe Classics and Multiverse figures. Then, next to some Mattel DC Universe Classics and Multiverse figures. And here he is, with some Mafex figures. Then, with some Hasbro Marvel Legends. And here he is, next to some SH figure arts action figures. And finally, here he is, next to some Jazz Wars Fortnite figures. So overall, it's a nice figure, but it's definitely not a necessary one. If I were to pick one E.T. figure, it would probably be the regular Ultimate E.T. This one looks good, the robe looks good, his articulation its very limited. His accessories are cool, but he really needs that can of beer. His gold paint job, they're definitely very nice. If I were to rate this figure, Probably give him like a 5.5 .5 out of 10. Just doesn't do that much for me. Yeah, the robe looks good. But unless you're a huge E.T. fan, really not necessary. So this is D. Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D. Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will talk to you guys real soon.